Delta Neutral versus Gamma Neutral, Exploring Advanced Hedging Strategies in Options Trading. Options trading can be an exciting realm for traders seeking a blend of risk management and potential for high returns. One essential concept in the world of options trading is, gamma. Today, we'll be exploring the intriguing dynamics of long gamma and short gamma positions, and how big money managers use the gamma neutral approach to mitigate risk and enhance profits. What is gamma? Gamma is one of the Greeks in options trading, which are mathematical derivatives of an option price used to measure different types of risks involved in options trading. The other Greeks include delta, vega, theta, and rho. Gamma refers to the rate of change of an option's delta relative to the change in the underlying asset's price. In simpler terms, it measures how much the delta, which measures the sensitivity of an option's price to changes in the underlying asset's price, changes for each one-point movement in the price of the underlying asset. If you are on the highway driving your car, you won't be going at one speed. Think of the acceleration and the deceleration of the speed of your car as gamma. Deciphering the Greeks, Delta and Gamma Before we deep dive into strategies, it's critical to comprehend the basics of Delta and Gamma, two fundamental Greeks in options trading. Delta gauges how much an option's price changes for every one-point movement in the underlying asset. Let's look at Nifty and an ATM option with Delta of 0.5 and a Gamma of 0.025. If Nifty has a Delta of 0.50, this signifies that for every point Nifty moves, the option's price will adjust by 0.50 points. Gamma, conversely, measures how much the delta changes for every one-point shift in the underlying asset. So, a gamma of 0.0025 means that for every point that Nifty moves, the delta of the option will modify by 0.0025. So, if the Nifty moves up 10 points, the delta of the option will increase by 0.0025 times 10 equals 0.025. This means that the delta of the option will go from 0.5 to 0.525. If the Nifty moves up 100 points, the delta of the option will increase by 0.0025 times 100 equals 0.25. This means that the delta of the option will go from 0.5 to 0.75. Long Gamma versus Short Gamma In the world of options, a trader can be either Long Gamma or Short Gamma. Here's what these positions mean and how they operate. Long Gamma being long gamma means that you are the owner of the option. The characteristic of long gamma is that the position benefits from movements in the underlying asset's price, whether it's upward or downward. When you own a call option or put option, i.e., long option, and the price of the underlying asset moves, your position can profit due to the changing delta. The option's price becomes more sensitive to further changes in the underlying asset's price. Hence, traders with long gamma positions aim to benefit from volatile markets where prices swing widely. Short gamma. Being short gamma means you have written or sold the option. The characteristic of short gamma positions is that they tend to benefit when the underlying asset's price remains steady. Short gamma traders are effectively playing against volatility. They want the market to stay calm and the price of the underlying asset not to move significantly. In such scenarios, they profit from the option's theta, or time decay. The value of the option they have sold decreases over time, which is beneficial for them. Gamma Neutral Approach Now, let's shift our focus to the Gamma Neutral Approach, a strategy commonly adopted by institutional investors and hedge funds, also known as the big money. The gamma neutral strategy aims to balance or neutralize the risk related to large price movements of the underlying asset. A gamma neutral portfolio is designed such that the total gamma value of all positions is zero. This means, regardless of how much the underlying asset's price fluctuates, the overall portfolio's delta, and hence its value, will remain unchanged. Traders use this strategy to limit the risk of potential losses due to volatility. However, it's not just about risk mitigation. By managing gamma carefully, big money traders can also take advantage of the fluctuations in the underlying asset's price without exposing themselves to substantial risk. In a typical gamma neutral strategy, a trader would maintain a mix of long and short gamma positions, dynamically adjusting these positions to keep the overall gamma value close to zero. When the market is expected to be volatile, they may take on more long gamma positions, benefiting from the increased sensitivity to price changes.
On the other hand, when they expect the market to be stable, they could increase their short gamma positions, benefiting from time decay. For example, a big money manager could sell options when implied volatility, expected future volatility, is high and buy options when implied volatility is low. By doing so, they are long gamma when volatility increases, because they have bought options cheaply, and short gamma when volatility decreases, because they have sold options at a higher price. This way, they profit from both volatility swings and time decay. Conclusion In the intricate world of options trading, understanding concepts like gamma and using sophisticated strategies such as the gamma-neutral approach can provide traders with the tools to manage risk and potentially enhance returns. However, it's crucial to remember that while these strategies can mitigate some risks, they also require a deep understanding of market dynamics, rigorous risk management practices, and continuous monitoring and adjustment of positions. Thus, they might not be suitable for every investor. The key to success lies in gaining comprehensive knowledge, staying updated with market movements, and making informed decisions.